said I'll make a video because some of you um, are, are saying that you don't believe it's my account. It is my account. But fret not, I'm going to be a good girl. <laughs> so what the hell is it talking about? I think we're in HD, anyway, which is why I didn't want to make a video. But, uh, you know, the way your kid, unfortunately, passing away, it isn't good for one's body <laughs> or soul, to be fair. But anyway, look, that's not all I'm bad. Anyway, hi, guys. Here's my nice flat. Let me see, can I flip the camera? Oh, well, anyway, there's a bunch of flowers my friend gave me today. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Sinead O'Connor had just moved back to London at the start of July, calling the city her home, and described her hope and excitement at seeing the ballet and writing new songs in the days before she died. We can reveal. The singer's fans in Ireland, Britain and around the world are mourning her death at the age of 56 as mystery still surrounds how, where and when she passed away. Fans had frothed with excitement over how buoyant she seemed after years of struggling with bipolar, depression and the devastating death of her son Shane who was 17 last year. She posted on social media that she had moved back to London and she felt very happy to be home in what was thought to be her final video which was shot in her new flat on July the 9th. The social media video was filmed by the singer to prove that it was her account and to show that she was in the process of unpacking, apologising for the mess she laughed and said that her flat was a mess because her belongings were everywhere. But there was also jokes that she made about putting Vaseline on her face to look after her skin and beautiful sunflowers that her friend had bought as a housewarming gift. In a statement yesterday evening, her family said that it is with great sadness that we announce the passing of our beloved Shanaid. Her family, her friends are devastated and have requested privacy at this very difficult time.